Stanley Cup madness. Stanley Cup madness. Most of you will know that I've been talking about Stanley Cups because I've got my own Stanley here, right? I've got like a cheaper version of the one that everyone has here. I think it's like a 75 litre one or something. I don't think it's a, it's not really a, no, it's actually a 30 ounce Stanley Cup. That's one I've got, right? And it's got this little sippy cup thing at the, at the top that I use. It's something incredible. But everybody's been going crazy for those one litre ones, right? That all the mums have been using with the straw. I spoke about the Starbucks version that has been causing a big stir. People queuing outside the shops and going crazy. Well, guess what is next? Guess what's next, guys? Anti-social club collaboration with Stanley. So the brand that everybody loves to hate, Anti-Social Social Club has now collaborated with Stanley for this special limited edition Stanley Cup that features this all-white Stanley with the Anti-Social Social Club logo on the side in silver and obviously the silver um, tip here at the front and the white cap. So an all-white um, Stanley Cup featured collaboration with Anti-Social Social Club. This is probably the first streetwear based collaboration i've seen with stanley so this might be an indication as to what we're going to see in the near future so i think be prepared in the next year or so in the next couple of months you're probably going to see way more um collaborations pop up out of the blue with other brands deciding to collaborate with the biggest um cup manufacturer the biggest cup brand out there and it's going to be one of the things that's going to really blow up stanley to the next level this is kind of stanley's croc moment do you remember when crocs were like the thing that nurses and doctors and sous chefs and barbacks and whatever wore because it's something that you could wear all day long and they were comfortable and then suddenly it became like a thing that everybody wore regular civilians and they, they started collaborating with them and now they become like fashion things this is the same thing with stanley cups stanley cups were first i guess a thing that people probably took with them when they went camping right if they were going out to you know driving whatever it may be right cross country they'd maybe carry one or whatever it may be or maybe hunting or something and now all of a sudden it's become the the quintessential cup of the yummy mummy right it's because that's because what it's become and that's going to become the fashion you know choice for most people out there and they're going to be carrying them and having them swing on their bags as they're walking around as they're on their fucking e-bikes or their little electric scooters it's going to be all the rage now so if you already were annoyed with the stanley cup situation be prepared for this to get really crazy now the fashion brands and the streetwear brands have gotten involved they're definitely going to be way more collaborations coming up so don't be surprised if you see a stoosie collaboration you see a supreme collaboration they're coming very very soon very very soon but the interesting thing about stanley has been what's been in the news about them have you seen this so the 2024 stanley cup lawsuit makers fail to disclose the viral tumblers contain lead so i'm not sure if you've seen this but loads of mums on tiktok have been going crazy because they've been using these little strips or these little test kits that you can get that can basically tell you how much lead so or something contains lead and they've all discovered that these stanley cups right these cups that if i'm not mistaken there was a an occasion sometime i think last year where somebody crashed their tesla or something and it blew up and for some reason the stanley cup was still somewhat intact i think the whole car melted right because the battery cells blew up or something or caught on fire but somehow in the debris once the firefighters were done they managed to find a pretty much intact stanley cup there so i'm not so, i'm not sure i'm not so I'm not sure why people didn't think this shit would contain some sort of lead in it if it was able to withstand um, an accident, right? Like that, where a car lit on fire, but a Stanley Cup still survived. Anyway, TikTok mums, when they found out Stanley Cups had lead in them, were going crazy because, you know, these mums are out here, you know, even though some of these mums are out here pouring, you know, 700 grams of fucking sugar into their cups, right? And making all these colorful rainbow drinks. For some reason, the lead is the most, you know, dangerous thing in there. But regardless these mums decided the lead is an issue and they've all decided to pull their resources together and put together a class action lawsuit in, a, in the hope of making some money basically right which is fucking crazy so i'm, I'm curious to see how what happens if they actually end up getting some money from the court case or if it gets thrown out but the article itself kind of describes what's going on here so this is courtesy of classaction.org Four consumers have filed a proposed class action lawsuit, sorry, which they allege the maker of the popular Stanley brand cups intentionally failed to disclose until late January 2024 that the viral product, sorry, contained lead. The 25-page Stanley Cup lawsuit says that although the defendant 
um, Pacif market, Pas Pacific Market International, PMI, touted the products for years as safe. The company failed to disclose to the public that it was a manufacturing process for the drinking tumblers whose popularity exploded help of social media influencers and branded partnerships included lead. Right, so they're really, really upset that they didn't tell them it included lead. Cool. Instead, PMI falsely advertised its Stanley Cups as BPA free and made of stainless steel, while failing to warn that the lead is a key ingredient in the cup's vacuum seal, which, if damaged, could expose a user or their child to lead. The proposed class action lawsuit claims stressing that the PMI's target demographic of Stanley Cups is young professional women of childbearing ages. That's not their fault. That's not their fault that young childbearing age women are buying these cups. But let's be honest, the majority of childbearing women I've seen drinking out Stanley cups have way bigger problems than the lead that's in the Stanley cup. Some of them are like, I saw some woman who bought this thing with their Stanley, which is kind of like this weird, like tray thing. It's like a thing that you can wrap around the Stanley Cup and you can put snacks in like the little compartment. So it's a tray, like a disc, and it's got these little compartments in it. And she was filling them up with little snacks when she was watching a movie. Like, so you're drinking a sugary drink. Then you've got all these little compartments with M&Ms and little candies and little crisps and stuff. Sweet and savory, basically, you know, treats on the round thing. But then you're worried about the fucking lead in the cup come on bro maybe put down all that sugar all that processed fucking crap that you're shoveling in your mouth and maybe just pour some actual water in the bottle because i was surprised that many people don't actually just use water to drink out if you know they don't just pour you know they don't just use their standards to drink water out of they actually use them to fucking drink crazy rainbow colored concoctions that would probably have you wired the whole entire time it's just absolutely crazy the false advertising complaint Filed in Los Angeles County Supreme Court, of course it's Los Angeles, emphasizes that the lead is dangerous in even trace amounts and that exposure, particularly through touching, swallowing or inhaling, can cause severe development problems with children. Okay, cool. That's when it gets a bit dicey. When they start measuring, when they start naming, when they start mentioning stuff like children and they start saying that it could leak into the cup and it could cause issues, that's where they might be into a winner. That's where they might get some money here. Um, these, that's where these Karens might win, right? These fucking Stanley Karens. The case accuses Seattle-based PMI of knowingly misleading the public by failing to disclose a fact that reasonable consumers would want to know before buying a drinking cup, especially since the bevy of similar products do not use lead or pose any lead-related risk. So if you're from any other cup brand out there, you probably should be running marketing where well, you're basically dissing Stanley's, where you're like, our cups don't need lead to keep your drinks cool, right? You should probably be running some really strong, very direct anti-Stanley cup marketing propaganda so you can get all their fans to buy your shit. That's what you should be doing. Just should really be hammering in. Like, we don't need lead to keep our drinks cool. We don't need lead to keep our drinks hot. And, um, you know, whatever your brand is, you know, the, the number one choice for childbearing mothers, all that shit should probably be running now. Um, it continues PMI had a duty to disclose its use of lead before enticing millions of customers to unwittingly buy its drinkware that kind of sounds like a victim thing how can you be a victim if you willingly bought something that's not their fault that you bought it right they didn't force you to buy that you bought it because you wanted to be a part of the fucking viral trend and now you're blaming them for what making really um, in-demand products instead of allowing consumers to decide for themselves and their families whether to accept any risks associated with using a lead contaminated drinking cup pmi kept customers in the dark so as to not interfere with his bonanza of influencer driven sales uh-huh especially sales to young women the plaintiffs asked at the court for a permanent injunction um, requiring the pmi to disclose any lead of toxins in the products in california refunds for proposed class members for what they've paid for lead contaminated Stanley cups and punitive damages for pmi's deliberate concealment of use of lead and the possibility that the damage to a cup could expose consumers to lead uh oh so they're looking for millions right punitive punitive um in 2019 pmi launched a new marketing initiative to increase sales of adventure quencher the troop claims ultimately the sales of those products skyrocketed social media influencers will tap into pmi's core demographic so they're saying that the the main marketing drive happened in 2019 it feels like it happened just yesterday but i guess they've been working on it since 2019 to push these cups and get them in the hands of most people um it says here pmi admitted stanley cups contain lead according to a filing 
um, PMI admitted in January 2024 that Stanley Cups did contain lead per case. The PMI's website relays that the company employs in its manufacturing process an industry standard pellet to seal the vacuum insulation at the base. Um, the sealing material includes a some lead PMI states claiming that once sealed, this vacuum insulation area is covered a durable stainless steel layer, making it inaccessible to consumers. Importantly, the lawsuit concedes that PMI professed awareness of the explanation of Stanley Cup. I guess that's where they're in trouble because they acknowledge that it does actually include lead in it um, in their advertising to kind of maybe stem the flow of hate that they'll get in. It's now probably going to lead into the favor of the women or the people that are basically filing this lawsuit. Importantly, the lawsuit claims that PMI profess awareness of the explanation of the Stanley Cup and their lead contaminating. So the lead containing vacuum seal um, could become damaged through ordinary use of the product, in particular by highlighting that the tumbler is eligible for the company's lifetime warranty in a rare occurrence that the base of the cup the base cap of the product comes off and exposes the seal according to a lawsuit several experts have opined um, that the lead contaminant in the stanley cups is concerning with one researcher stating that if the bottom seal comes off all bets are off lead is so toxic you can't just take chances with it so i guess i'm playing with fire every time i drink out of my cup if this little thing at the bottom there comes off right that little cup if that little cup there comes off I'm fucked. That's what they're basically trying to say. I might D-I-E if that lead thing comes off. So, you know, if you don't see me for a couple of weeks and I go missing and I'm not streaming, or I'm not recording as much as before, you know why. You know why. My fucking Stanley Cup killed me. R.I.P. Aggie. R.I.P. Aggie. <laughs> Imagine a Stanley Cup killing me. Imagine me being weak enough to let a Stanley Cup kill me me of all people can you imagine that it's never fucking happening it's never fucking happening